Hi guys, so it's new tattoo day. I am absolutely buzzing. It's been way too long before getting tattooed, but how good can a hand tattoo really be is my question, or we're about to find out. I've challenged my tattoo artist, who is a phenomenal artist. Um, you can see just there, but probably not the cleavage you wanna see first thing in the morning. Maybe we'll go into it in a bit of detail in the future, but for the time being, we're just gonna be talking about the hand tattoo. Very difficult to show you all my tattoos in this, so what I might do is, if you want to, drop a comment in the comment section if you want to see all my tattoos and we talk through them because I've got a hell of a lot and some of them are unreal quality like the lion my favorite one is actually on my arm which is very difficult to show I have had my fair share of bad tattoos this is the first tattoo I ever had I was 17 18 naive stupid I loved boxer dogs at the time I was boxing at the time and I got this bulldog down the side of my arm I realized at a later date it made me look a little bit dodgy so I offset it with Hindi writing down my left arm to make me look a little bit less well balance things out if you know what I mean. That worked out even worse because I did a walk-in tattoo session. The first one wasn't an appointment and the second one definitely wasn't an appointment. I walked in, I got an apprentice, he butchered my arm. My existing tattoo artist, which is Paul, who is absolutely unreal. Some of his work, it's so underappreciated, it is crazy. He did a Denzel Washington portrait recently and it blew my mind. And that is what's led on to this tattoo. Okay, this tattoo is gonna be a portrait style going on the hand. So my hand is only a small area, like that. Quite big as hands go, but bony. We're gonna be doing a portrait, this portrait, of this beautiful woman. I'm gonna, we're gonna be making her eyes blue, and it's to represent beauty of the world, and also to go with a hit, the Indian style sort of head headdress and stuff like that, is, it, is to incorporate this. My chief there, my chief skull, which represents don't let your dreams die with you, which all my tattoos got meaning. Again, I might go into that later, but again, it's just about this hand tattoo. I'm buzzing to be here. I'm buzzing to go in and actually see Paul and get down to business, but I am skeptical on how good a portrait tattoo can be on such a small area, on a bony, on a hand, basically. Can a beautiful woman like this fit on here? Skeptical, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna see whether Paul can do it. So now I've told you my backstory about all the tattoos I've had, and how I've had terrible experiences, and how I've got amazing tattoos now. I do get a mad amount of compliments on my tattoos, especially when I'm swimming, or in the swimming pool, or got my top off type of thing, because you can sort of see them all in symmetry. Not that I've got the best body in the world, because I'm a 40 year old dad bod now. Um, and I do get a lot of compliments on the tattoos, especially like the optical illusion on this shoulder the clock, the Manchester Cathedral clock, um, which is where I'm from. Not from the Manchester Cathedral, but I am from Manchester. Without further ado, let's get in there. And we're off. Okay, this is the outside of Paul's tattoo shop, AKA Naughty Needles. Let's go inside and take a seat. So that's the stencil in place. Everything looks perfect, nicely laid out. I'm happy with that. Interesting to see how it'll bind. And we're off. So we start with the outline, going over the template. You can see from Johnny's eye view, if we look down, there's no swelling on the hand. My hand, everything's nice and easy. It's relatively pain-free at this stage, but it does look very interesting to look down on it and see how it's gonna work with the existing tattoo. Okay, so that's the outline done. We can see what we're working with and we've done some of the background. A lot of ink is gonna be going into this hand. Just look at that. A lot more ink has gone into it. But still no real feel to the tattoo other than we're getting a good layout. We haven't got any blending or anything going on, especially in the center. But we're gonna be working on the binding to the wrist from the existing tattoo to the new hand tattoo, which to be honest, perplexed me. And I couldn't understand how, how it would possibly work. But this is where you trust your tattoo artist. They're an artist, or at least Paul is, a very good artist with a very good visualization about how to make it bind and work together. So you can see there, it's starting to happen. More ink's gone into the hand, and we are working on this part. This was the most painful part of probably my entire body being tattooed, including going down towards my nipple and underneath my armpit area. This absolutely killed. I don't know how I recorded it at the time, Maybe it helped me concentrate, but down there I got like quite a few twitches and stuff like that going through my arm. Down to the palm really did sting. It was not nice, and that wipe is probably the worst part of getting a tattoo. 
To me, it's never the needle that hurts that much. It's the wiping it clean, but you can't avoid it because they need to see what they're doing. Look, that really does hurt. Okay, so we're off to the center of the tattoo now, and we're really gonna get a start to get a feel for what's going on. And this is like the exciting stage and certainly where the magic takes place. I think this is probably what separates the elite tattoo artists from the very good tattoo artists is how good they can do this center part, how they can bring the sort of, the, the skin to life, the sort, of, the sort of image to life, and dimensions and levels to actually blending the tattoo. Especially around the eyes, the nose, the sort of mouth area. So I was really excited at this point about filling this area in, because it still felt like quite emotionless. It did, the layout does look great, but I was super excited. But I did think as he was going around the eyes, has he left enough room there to make these eyes blue? Or has he forgot? I didn't know. But still no real feeling, but we're starting to get there a little bit right now. Look at that. So we're starting to get the shape of the eyes, the shape of the forehead. Well, there's that wipe I'm talking about. You can't help it, it's every single like probably every 10, 15, 20 seconds they have to wipe. I don't know, I didn't count because all I know is it really hurts. So there we go, there we go, another wipe. Absolutely kills. But to be honest, this area is probably the least painful of my whole hand. Seems to be as you go outwards, it hurts more, especially down that left side, like I said earlier. But look at that, we're getting some shading, some depth to the sort of eyes, nose, forehead area. Not loads at the minute, but we start, I remember getting really excited in the seat. But you can also see my hand is starting to swell. Well, it's very much swelled, much like Professor Clump or Will Smith in Hitch. My hand has blown up. Took a few days to come down, to be honest. But as you can see here, this is talent at work at its finest. How he does that, I have no idea. Honestly, really no idea how you can get that good at blending. And there you go, a little out shot to show me there. Here's my hand. Looking down on it, it's not going to do it justice at this point, but we're looking down on it. It doesn't look as swelled as before, but you can definitely see in that face. Whew. I mean, look at that just below the nose and above the mouth. Exciting times, but the camera dies of battery and we'll return back to the house. How good can a hand tattoo be? I'll tell you, this is how good a hand tattoo can be on this left hand in a second. But I'll just tell you, it's 48 days after. I've let, let the, like, the swelling heal down. It's got a tiny bit of bit of hand pain on it, but not much on due to top up. So what I want you to do is go over to Paul's channel and I will drop him in the I'll drop him in the description below. Show him a little love. Tell him Koi Fish Johnny sent you best hand hand tattoo in the world. In fact pop that in the comments. Check this out. Absolutely mega. Can you believe that that is a real tattoo? I can't put the lighting on. I haven't got any filters on. This is just the hand tattoo as it is. The detailing on that, I mean, look at the eyes. They were a late addition as we was going round. You can see that binding work. Woo! But that is absolutely epic considering the size of the tattoo. This guy is absolutely world class. Filterless image, filterless video, genuine, 100% hand tattoo, raw dog right in front of you. Little bit of the pan fade on it, but we'll see what it looks like in a few weeks and I'll update you. Bang! So that is how good a hand tattoo can be. How amazing is that? I mean, that is a hand tattoo. No filter, no image, no craziness, nothing good about it. That is a real tattoo. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't got it on my hand.